Welcome! In uh, this session, we're going to be learning how to use the line, the parallel, perpendicular, and also uh, use the features that go along with the line as well. So if you come over here to the left and you go on Create Line Endpoint, now if you actually click on the arrow down next to it, you're going to see that you can create a line endpoint, create a line closest, create line bisects, line perpendicular, line parallel, and line tangent through point. And they're all self-explanatory, but I'll go through them real quick. If you go to create line and click on it, you're gonna see on the ribbon bar all these options appear. Now, we have a chance to use, I wanna teach you guys how to use the D, Z, and Y axis. So this is where you um, select whatever you want the first endpoint to start up at. So say I want it to be at two and Z at two, and Y is at zero because right now we're in 2D. Now remember, this is the Z axis, this is the D axis. So this is in plus Z and this is in plus D. Right now what I just told it that I want it to be uh, plus two in Y and Z, I'm sorry, and then a plus two in Z. And that's where it created my first endpoint. Now it's basically asking me, hey, how long do you want uh, or where do you want the line to end? And let's say over here, I want it to end at two, negative two, and press enter after you're done and there you go it creates your line for you okay now y is basically like if you're looking into the screen that's that axis that's why we keep it at zero because you won't see it anyways okay now another thing you can do is if you go over here to fast point and this is kind of like the having the d and z there but you're actually just typing it so if you click on it and say i want two comma two there you go it's going to start you at it two plus two at z plus two at d okay and um, you know you can uh, also tell it if you want if you come over here and you can also tell it uh, if you want it to snap at the origin and then it will go straight to the origin so there's your origin and there's your startup point now over here there's a lot of nice options that you can use you can do an arc center now we don't have a circle drawn so i can't show you that you can do an endpoint basically you're asking it where you want it to snap at so if i want it to endpoint if i click on a line it's going to get me that endpoint now if i click on the line on this this side of the line it will it will uh, basically connect me here if I click on that side of the line if I press escape come over here and click on endpoint again but I click on this side of the line it will snap on the right side okay same thing over here if I go intersection if I click on two lines it will give me the snap at the intersection I'm, I'm basically pressing escape when I'm done and then come on over here to midpoint if I click on this line it will give me that midpoint right away I uh, press the escape, you know, there's all kinds of stuff. There's nearest, relative, and basically you're just asking it where you want it to snap. Now, um, I select that on accident. If you come over here to configuration and click on that, these are the auto cursor settings. Basically, you're, ask, you're telling it where do you want it to be able to snap at when you get closest to it. So basically, when you get close to a certain endpoint, where do you want it to snap at? Okay, and I have all of them selected right now, and uh, including angles, tangents, per perpendicular, nearest, and horizontal, vertical. Now those, I don't believe they're all checked while you're doing that, so uh, check your settings uh, if you're using this uh, for the first time. Okay, now if I come down over here, I'm going to move this, uh, it just asks me to select my first endpoint. Over here, this is the multi-line, so basically if I click on it, and I do a couple lines, it keeps going. I can select as many as I want, okay? Now, if I select, if I will select it, I can only draw one line, and then it stops. Uh, this is the length of the line. So if I started the line right here, and I want to tell it, I want it one inch long. So now it created a one inch long line, no matter where I snap it at, it's going to be one inch long, okay? This is your angular. So if I tell it I want it one inch long at 45 degree, boom, it just made my... 45 degree and if I go fit the screen over here it will fit everything to screen I can zoom out a little bit so this is basically the length of the line and this is the angle of the line so you snap your the point you start out your point and then you tell it what angle you want it in okay now um, uh, this can work both ways so if you want you can set it as 45 degrees or you can also do the same thing and set it at um, negative 40 or negative I'm sorry uh, the 360 minus 45, so negative, uh, what is that, 325, 315, 315 degrees. So if you do negative 315 degrees, it will also snap at that same angle, okay? So you can work positive and negative. 
If you come over here, now this allows you to snap either vertically or horizontally. So if you click on one of them and then click on one endpoint, you can only go vertical. If you click on the horizontal, then you can only go horizontal. This allows you to make, this is a, basically a feature to make sure that you're going either horizontal or vertical. It's press an escape. Uh, and also you can select tangent. Say if you're drawing a circle and then you want to attach it to a line, you can use this tangent button to make sure that the circle is that is going attached tangent to the line. All right, so I'm going to come over here now and I'm going to say perpendicular. So if I click on perpendicular and I click on any line, it will create a perpendicular line from it and I can click and let it go. If I come over here on a perpendicular, I can flip it for it to be on the other side. I can click it again and it will copy on both sides. Okay, and I flip it again to go back to my first uh, place. Okay, now I'm going to come over here to uh, line again, and I'm going to go to parallel. So if I go to parallel, I'm, and I click this line, and then I click either left or right side of it, I'm going to click the right side, it creates a parallel line on the right side. If I come over here and I click the flip again, it's going to go to the left side, and if I click it again, it will copy on both sides. And if I click it one more time, if it will copy only on one side. Now, I can come over here and set the length, the distance between this line and this line. So let's say I want it one inch, so I type in one inch and press enter, and it will apply it one inch away from it. Now I can click, after I'm done, I can click on apply, you know, and okay. And there you go, these are some of the most basic functions and the most used functions that you will be using to check, uh, sketch your geometry in MasterCam, in any MasterCam that you use. So. Um, this is uh, ends the tutorial for uh, the line.